So where have you visited from today? Uh, we've come down from Edinburgh uh, for today. And why have you decided to visit somewhere like York? York, it's to visit friends, go to Betty's, uh, we've got relatives here as well, but York's a great venue in any event, easily accessible by the rail from Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And following the Brexit vote, the pound has dropped greatly. Do you think that this will affect people coming to York? Do you think there'll be more people that visit York? Uh, I think there almost certainly will be, uh, certainly from Britain uh, and probably from Europe as well because they'll get more value for their euros coming over here. Uh, a lot of people in Britain are thinking twice about going abroad this year. Uh, when the weather's like this I would say that Britain's as good as anywhere and York's a lovely place. And are you planning to go abroad maybe to Europe this summer? Uh, we probably will be going across to France. We have friends who bought a house in Brittany last year who are quite concerned about Brexit and what repercussions they may have for themselves uh, uh, and just in what is their status going to be going forward. And finally, do you ultimately think that the dropping the value of the pound will be good for somewhere like York and maybe Great Britain in general for tourism? Yeah, well, I think it certainly will attract more tourists. Uh, Everything will be more expensive. Everything, everything will be more expensive for people in, well, in, in Britain. <laughs> uh, but people from Europe will be getting more, so I think that would, they will be attracted uh, into it. Something like the Tour de France that was here a couple of years ago in Yorkshire showed off the, the place very well. So, and might even find their way up to Scotland too. Yes.